Hello YouTube fans, here again, and I figure why not, why not do this one, that being the Witches of Eastwick, that's right, the Witches of Eastwick, everybody knows it, that's it, starring Jack Nicholson, Michelle Pfeiffer, Sarah and Susan Sarriton, that's right, the Witches of Eastwick, which we all know was a black comedy back in 1987, now, 87 was a good day for films. Say it again. A good day for films. Think about it. You had Predator. You had The Running Man. You had the original Lethal Weapon. You had The Lost Boys. And you had The Witches of Eastwicks. As well as other ones. And the list goes on. But we'll talk about The Witches of Eastwicks. So if you haven't remembered the theme tune, it goes. Do, 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 do. I'm not going to do the rest because I'll kill it. And at first, you've got these three best of friends, such as being myself, Pfeiffer, Sarah, and Susan Saladin. And you get the idea of the lonely, they have been they're making food and snacks, and they're wishing that they would have the man of their dreams. This is a sort of a town what they live in. It's a tired town, but it's one of them where everybody knows your business. It's a town that even I want to live in. You know what I mean? It's a boring town in America. And this is where you get Jack Nicholson. Now, the only thing with Jack Nicholson is, is he a warlock? Is he a wizard? Is he a fucking... a sorcerer? What the fuck is that? Because... The movie says, right, the three witches of Eastwick, so sometimes it's called the witches of Eastwick's. Now, we all know a witch is a female, I mean, a warlock is a man, you're not going to fancy her. But to me, there was just three women who was being naughty and thinking with, I don't know, maybe they were just sexually frustrated. How the fuck do I know? The film doesn't tell you, but to me, there were witches. I think the only one who had the special powers was Jack Nicholson. But in all fairness, this was the film, and Tim Burton saw this film. He saw it and said, that's the Joker. Because at the time, before Batman ever come out, two days before Batman, Tim Burton saw this film. And I think a lot of producers who did Batman saw this film, and straight away, Jack Nicholson, the Joker. And this was the film that just got Jack Nicholson the role of the Joker, two days after Riches of Eastwick. I can see why in this, I can see why a lot of people know Jack Nicholson from the days of the one that flew over the cuckoo nest, the list goes on, remember him in the postman rings twice. And it's like I say, a lot of people also remember him is is Johnny in the signing. So this was another big break for Jack Nicholson. Every so his science in this. So he comes into it. He comes into it and you've got the idea he's got special powers and he slowly adduces the women. He adduces Sarah. This is the Sarah I like. Before she had 101 fucking facelifts and she could barely fucking smile. This is the Sarah I like. So it's not bad for an acting role. She's definitely like, good at an acting role in this. And he adduces her. He says, well, what are you going to do? Your kids are probably fast feet doing their own work. But also a bit where he says, do you want to be on the top? Or on the bottom, and you got the idea he's making the bed, and next thing you know, you don't see it, but you got the idea of a Vanky Panker. And then he also has this wicked way with Susan Sire, too. Sort of like plays a nerdy character, but as the film goes on, she definitely gets a confidence. I do love the bit when he's in the swimming pool, and myself, Pfeiffer, I've got to admit, it's fucking hot in this film. I love the bit where she says to Jack Nicholson, How are you going to reduce me? And the bit where he makes them fire in the air, you've got the idea, he's got special powers. But as the film goes on, they get pissed off with him and they sort of, when they see what he can do. Because you've got one woman who doesn't like what's going on, they get a bad reputation of being slappers, which is understandable. Three women in bed with Jack. So they basically get a bad reputation. So I put it in chapter detail what they get called. And this one woman, like I say, she accidentally falls down the stairs and she ends up badly, not paralysed, but, you know, she can't move. And as the film, so they get rid of him, but as the film goes on, 
she's vomiting, she's vomiting, she's got this bad illness where she's swearing and the husband just gets pissed off. You don't see it, it's professionally done, but you've got the idea he kills his wife, he passes her to death. So it definitely does have a darkness in this film. It's a black comedy, but it does have its moments as well. So, because they fuck Jack Nicholson off, I do love the bit where he says, I'm beating my dick off, do you mind me letting me in? But they don't, it's raining, and that's where he gets his own back. He's all right, mates, set up all these snakes, and a bit right, he does something to Susan Sider. I can't remember now whether it's bugs or something, but the worst is one of all is he makes himself fight for badly ill. Makes her badly ill. So this is how he has got the option of getting back. So it does have some darkness and a bit of horror in the film, as well as a bit of humour. So they're getting back, they're getting back, but they decide to get rid of them. It's a bit where I would say they do have the powers, but at the end of the day, anyone could do this. You can get a few do go anywhere. I mean, you could go to your local chemist, your local fucking soy shop. I'd get a few do go. Get someone I don't like, ram a few knives in it, and simple, kill a few people on the way. And then we can get a fucking few do do. So it's not really black mapped it. So they get a few do sort of fucking do. The stuffing needles in it, and Jack Nicholson's bleeding. He's vomiting up, and so on. The silly guy in the shop thinks he's having an heart attack. Funny looking fucking heart attack, and you're bleeding, you fucking prick. But. He's vomiting anyway, he taxes on it, it's them, he's chasing after them, um, and then they make him fanny's away. The town's peaceful, and basically it's a happy ending to get rid of Jack. But the thing is, it's a it's like I say, where else going to go with it? Where else going to go? It was a black comedy, it was a bid it film in its day. I always remember the iconic poster with Jack Nicholson's hands like that, both of his hands, you've got lightning coming out, and you've got like a child picture of Sarah, myself, Pfeiffer, and Susan Sarandon. But it was a bit of movie in its day, and like I say, it was a black comedy, they get rid of Jack Nicholson. And I'm kind of happy, really. I'm happy they never had this idea, because we all know nowadays movies don't have imagination. I'm kind of happy you come up with some idea. Hey, 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 man. Hey, man. Let's make a sequel. Like they're doing with Beetlejuice. Because I don't really want to see a, a sequel. This, to me, to me, it's done as a standalone film. It's done as a standalone film. You don't need to see a fucking sequel. But you can definitely see after this, five, two years after, they'd have Tap Nicholson as the Joker. You could call me the Joker. You can definitely see why Jack Nicholson got the role as the Joker. He definitely is. I mean, I've heard bad rumours in real life. He's arrogant as anything. But I think Jack Nicholson is doing. I do miss doing. He's definitely a good actor. And he definitely does good roles like this. This is a Jack Nicholson I miss when he did roles, let's say, like the one that threw over the cuckoo nest. The postman always bonks dies. I've had to call it. So I go on to that one. Um... Oh, let me think of other date films, and it's not one of all. Here's Johnny, the signing. But this is definitely another good role for um, Jack Nicholson. You know what I mean? He reduces three women, and at the time, Susan Sarandon is damn hot. I don't want to admit, she's really hot. And um, she is a very attractive lady. I love myself Pfeiffer in the film. I love the fact that the three women get their own back, they get confidence, decided to hell with it. We may be loner. But we don't need fucking Jack Nicholson in our life. But the only thing is, it's called The Witches of East Wicks, right? That's my only issue. But they weren't witches. Okay, you could call them slappers, but they weren't witches. Because at the end of the day, what powers did they have? They got a few dude doll, which Jack Nicholson sold them out. But he never told you what Jack Nicholson was. Was Jack Nicholson a warlock? Was he a wizard? Have these special powers. I know, I know. It's only a movie. I'm going too into it. But he never told you what Jack Nicholson was. Was he a warlock? What was? Was he a wizard? Was, was he Satan? What? He never told you. But it's a film, and I went with it. It was a black comedy. I had some good effects for the time. Three witches of East Wits, and for that, a three star rating for me. Not a bad. Comedy, it does have some horror moments, it has humour in it, and it has a good performance by four good actors, being myself, Pfeiffer, being Sarah, which definitely good because we all know Sarah was a singer. 
but this is a damn good performance from Sarah and Susan Salyton and the man himself Jack Nicholson so that being Demons is a V-Switz I say it again a V-Star rating for me but into them be smart be safe see you later